YouTube, welcome back to WTFRC Cars. So we got uh, something new from Flysky. We have a FGR4B. So this is a small four channel receiver and it does come with the external battery monitoring as well. So might be of use for uh, some of you. Uh, it also says it's PP6X6 waterproof. Um, iBus 2, uh, it says Newport and the DVB which is the external voltage monitor. Uh, quite an interesting one this, I'll try and get you a picture of it. So it's got the antenna, external antenna for anybody worried about range and it is tiny, that is proper little. So it should be an easy one to fit in uh, into most RCs. You have a bind button instead of the uh, bind and update put in the uh, bind plug-in. So looking at it, you've got the top port which is the DVB um, or the external voltage and then you've got four channels. Uh, this one's compatible with the MB4 and the Paladin range so it shouldn't be an issue uh, using it. And also in the box, we get a warning. Uh, if RX and AFHDS3 TX cannot be bound according to guidance in the manual, please go to flyskycn.com. Guessing it's to get the uh, update if it's not uh, going to bind that box. So, little voltage, uh, external voltage monitor. And we do get a whole bunch of Fly Sky stickers with it. And they do come in these nice boxes as well. So, let's have a quick look through instructions, see if it gives us anything uh, that's different to the other B, -mod B designated receivers. Nope, so it looks like it's going to work just the same as the FGR 8B and FGR 12. So. Let's see uh, see if we can get this set up. Uh, the operating voltage is 3.5 to 9 volt, which is nice. So you could run it directly off a 2S LiPo without any, uh, any issues. Let's see if we can get it powered up. So I'll just pick a blank uh, model memory. And let's rename it. FGR4B and radio frequency two way and we've got it set up as four channels so right let's get some power to it so you're going to want to press and hold the bind button so a little tiny bind button we're going to want to press and hold that in fact, press on that, and then power it up. So it starts flashing. Then into your RX set, bind, uh, try it as an enhanced. Binding. Binding successful. Well, it did connect up straight away. So we got steering. And we got throttle straight off. So, quite an easy one to uh, set up this. And it looks like they don't need any uh, any update straight out of box. Now, to update this one, at the moment the MB4 will not have it listed. So it's not going to be one that you can uh, update from the MB4 or at the moment. But you will be able to update it through the software updater via the MB4 plugged into PC. So that's just a quick look at the FGR4B. Um, little micro receiver with some waterproofing. And it does work with the latest firmware that's out at the minute. 
or should I say the 2.0.93 firmware on the MB4. So, try and get you some uh, real good close ups of this. So, let's power it off. If uh, if I can manage to zoom in on it, so that's the uh, the receiver in its entirety. And looking at it, I'm not sure if you really wanted to. If you could actually take it out of this case and make it even smaller, it's quite possible. I'm not sure how it affect the uh, bind button, but the bind button is nice and easy to get to. But Thanks again for watching WTFRC Cars. If you like this kind of video, like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Share to friends and family or anybody else that you think might find it useful. And I'll catch you guys again in the next one.